Benz. I'm Cole Wright filling in for Chris Rose alongside the Hall of Famer, Dion Sanders. You know him as Prime, and that's why it's the name of the show. And uh, Prime taking a look at New England, Kansas City, and Baltimore. They look to be in the driver's seat of the AFC, but you're saying that the key to the whole conference involved a player that wasn't even on the field today? You're getting a hot take right out of the gates. All three of these teams were tested, and two of them passed by winning the game. One of them fell, which was the Baltimore Ravens, but I would go deeper than that. Two teams, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens, was in the Jalen Ramsey sweepstakes mm -hmm. probably a week or two ago, and we all thought this trade was going to go down until the whole Antonio Brown thing went left. I really feel like in my heart that gave the couple of those teams some false sense of security saying, well, you know, Antonio's not there. Well, we don't have to give up a one and a three or one and a two. We could backtrack a little bit. But no, both of these teams proved defensively that they do need a boost. And that boost name is Jalen Ramsey. Well, he was Make a bystander happen, today. He watched his Jacksonville Jaguars inch out a two-point victory over Denver. We'll get to that as the show progresses. But in the meantime, let's get to a little Sunday Night Football action. Dallas Cowboys, New Orleans Saints, Zion Williamson, and Ricky Jackson. How's that for some glad hand? Oh, yeah, some legends Whoa, down there. Man. Yeah. Speaking of legends, Drew Brees, he had to watch. And hopefully Teddy Bridgewater would be legendary. Hits Ted Ginn Jr. Short nine-yard pass, two gloves, prime working better than one. And then Saints with a little bit of confusion going on here. Under 20 seconds to go until the midway point. TBW drops this one off to a guy who this is versatile as they come, Prime. That's Alvin Kamara taking it to the one. So the clock stops four seconds after a penalty flag. So it's first and goal at the one. So what would they do? Headed into intermission. Well, Teddy Bridgewater with the incomplete pass to Jared Cook. So the Saints would settle for a 19-yarder from Will Lutz. Michael Thomas, not a big fan of the play call. But let's check in with Dak Prescott. Because in the third quarter, well, Deion, he's been perfect. 22 of 22. Bowling. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pay that man. Yeah, he's looking to get that loot. And Dak Prescott to Amari Cooper. Loves the way that one looks. And then to Jason Witten. Witten. 12-yard chunk. So the Cowboys rolling. They're marching down to the 35. And two plays later, Blake Jarwick. Yeah, putting Dallas right on the doorstep. So it's first and goal at the two. How about this one, Brian? Zeke Elliott. That's what Zeke does. Doing Zeke Elliott kind of stuff. Absolutely. So Dak, 6-6, six 67 yards in the third. Like he said, he's looking for that new deal. He's like Teddy Roosevelt. Fourth quarter now. Saints out in front, 12-10. to 10. Bridgewater trying to assess the situation. Stumbles just a little bit. Hold on a second. Jalen Smith, here he comes, Prime, and he's a busy man. You, you cannot make those type of mistakes at the quarterback position at that time of the game. Yeah, and maturity, that's what that was. Inexperience, that's what that was. All right, let's see if the maturity and experience were there for Dak Prescott. It's, oh. David on Yamada with an 11-yard sack right there. So the boys deep in their own territory. And, and note the time because they have zero timeouts. Five plays later, Dak to Randall Cobb. Oh, Green Eyes going to miss you down the middle, 32-yard. Mm-hmm. Cowboys, they have to hurry up. They have to spike it. Prime only two seconds left. They're at their own 48. Okay. So that's how things will transpire. You see that next You're play. You're not kicking from there. Yeah, that, that would be a long one. It would be a record. So Dak, one last gasp, and uh, who does he hit? Marcus Williams D does not play. I love when they pick it off. Yeah, it doesn't I play hate when they try to knock it down. The, the Cowboys Saints, they go on to get this one. 12 to 10, Drew Brees, a big time fan, and rightfully so. And taking a look at the quarterbacks by the numbers, Dak versus Teddy, 22 completions. And he looked to throw the ball 33 times. And Teddy, he was efficient as well. Not over 200 passing yards. Had the interception. Passer rating lower than Dak. And at the end, it was the Saints coming away with the victory. A close shave here, 12 to 10, in front of that national audience on Sunday Night Football. So, Prime, just how important was this win, not only for the Saints, but for Teddy Bridgewater and that confidence, man? First of all, Teddy didn't lose the game for you. Teddy helped you achieve success tonight. He was very effective, very efficient. Teddy is a timing type of quarterback. One, two, three, get rid of the ball. Teddy's not going to take too many shots deep. He's not going to take too many risks. Teddy Bridgewater got the job done. And all they were expecting in six games of absence for Drew Brees is for Teddy Bridgewater to go three and three. He's already gotten two. Okay. He's well, almost there. 
Okay, well, what about your boy Dak Prescott? We saw him. He had some struggles in this game. Is this just a hurdle that he'll have to get past, or is this going to be something that sticks with him in his mental in the back? Hey, that, hey this thing was bigger than Dak. Amari Cooper got shut down tonight. He, did, did we not see that? Zeke was uh, almost a, a no-show. Zeke is a bad boy. D that defensive front for the Saints flat out came to play today in they ball. Dak made the throws that Dak needed to make. Dak did not have nothing to do with losing that game. Uh, he didn't have his normal Dak Prescott day, three or four touchdowns because his quarterback and his, uh, I'm sorry, his receiver and his tight end was virtually no-shows today as well as Zeke for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, we're trying to Sometimes you got to get a defense some type of credit. Okay. It was defensive battles all day today that we're going to get to, and sometimes you got to get a defense's credit. They came to play today. Okay, just the first loss this season for the Dallas Cowboys. If there's room for improvement, because we know that's the biggest room in the house prime, where do they fix things? They got to fix things, first of all, with the running game. You got to have the running game. Now you've been really dependent on Dak to get it and to spread it, and he's been flawless. He's been balling, but you got to go back to the basics. What's going to get you to the Super Bowl, what's going to get you to the second round of the playoffs is having an effective running game behind Zeke. That's what's going to get you where you need to go. Okay, offense puts points on the board, but as we all know, especially you, Prime, defense, what does it do for you? Uh, win games, win Super Bowls, baby. Absolutely. Wins everything. Championships. So let's.